Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Forza Horizon 4. I want to have a look at the Rover SD1 which was recently added to this game and I really really love the fact that they are adding so many cool and unique and rare and interesting cars to this game. So this was a 70s and 80s British uh, Leyland vehicle, uh, the Rover SD1 which I think uh, stands for Special Division 1 and it was designed to look apparently like a Ferrari Daytona and it, well, no, it, no, it doesn't really. Um, so a lot of people know this from Top Gear, they also did, um, this, this was also very popular in Britain in the 70s and 80s. I don't think you'd really find it in many other countries, I know they sold them in America for a bit. Um, it was also in music videos of the time, it, um, it also did a lot of police work in the UK and there was something called the Liver Run where um, some police cars drove across London very quickly, some Rover SD1 police cars drove across London very quickly and um, to deliver a liver, a, a donor transplant liver and they managed to do it in like 20 minutes or something getting right across the centre of London which is amazing um, and thanks to the 3.5 litre V8 in this car uh, it really is quite quick yeah, in this game it's a top, you can see at the top there, it's a top of D class D-Class goes up to 500 and this is a 498, so it's pretty high up there. It's kind of, kind of a shame that it's night time, but you know, I think this car looks good at night time. Got it in this silver colour. Got five gears, which is actually quite impressive for an 80s car. Um, now I want to do... I don't know what I want to do. This is classed as a retro saloon, so let's do the Juggernaut. See how far as we can get this thing to go to. So solo, we've got retro saloons. Um, you can see these are the kind of cars we could be up against. They are all a lot faster. That's the thing, right? They're all like B and A class. Anyway, let's see what happens. See, so just look at it. I love it. And they also added a car with a plane engine recently, which is amazing. Oh, um, okay. We're just going to be against Rover SU ones, and that's quite cool, though. Oh my. Yeah, wow. And I have to say, the engine sound is good. So this game... Whoa, look at this! Now that... That has got to be... Come on, surely we can... Can we not take a, a picture or something? Oh, there you go. Got it. Look at that. Absolute fleet of rovers. Oh yeah. Now that's cool. Um There you go. Let's save that. That's quite cool. So I, I guess I don't really know why um they're all rovers. Maybe it's because this is the lowest car in the um in the Retro Saloons class, so it's the only one that can actually rank it with. And we're going to win easily here, I think. The AI don't seem to have very good starts in this game. Oh, actually, that was a bad gear change. Come on. But yeah, like, the lights that, like, sink into the bonnet, it's such a unique design. Something you just don't see anymore like that. Um, and the engine sound is great. So, yeah, um things are going on in the world, obviously. We've got this pa um, pandemic, COVID-19, which is forcing everyone to stay indoors. So I'm going to be making some more videos in the coming weeks. I don't really know. Oh, I do know what I want to do. I might do a bit more Forza. Forza isn't really a simulation game, but I've got to, you know, talk about things like this. I love what they're doing with this. It's made by a British company, um, and I think they're, they're doing a really good job at capturing kind of British car culture and really showing off some of the best cars that Britain created. Um, I mean, this car was maybe a little bit unreliable, and it's not, it's not the prettiest car in the world, it's just quite a cool design. But I think it's very iconic. I really... I mean, it's hard to hate, I think. And you don't see many of them around anymore. I think they've all kind of rusted away or just not really here anymore. And then what are we going to unlock? I just, I, I don't know why I dressed up like I'm going to like a horse race in this game. I, I thought that would be funny. Um, I, you know, right. Let's go off the motorway. Whoa, 
Now, what's great? Oh, look, there's um, some two people from the race. Look, I love how it spawns people out there. Now, I want to do. I want to show you something. Because what you can do is absolutely massively upgrade this car. I mean, like really upgrade it, and it just goes mental on the on the motorways. So conversion. You put in a racing 7.2 litre V8. And then, I don't know, let's put, the, let's put that in. Supercharger is probably better. Uh, we want a wing, actually. Need to get tyres. Let's get, let's get some drag. Let's get some drag tyre compounds. There you go. Oh, yeah. You can also spout the wheel, track, like that. I like the rims, actually. Let's keep those. Now, engine is where it gets serious. So, displacement. Yeah. Intercooler. Flywheel. Brakes. We're going to need better brakes on this thing. Yeah, this is good. Put a, a roll cage in there. Stiffen up the suspension. Um, ooh. Oh, that looks good, though. That does look good, but... It harms acceleration, so let's not. Uh, and then let's do some transmission. Clutch. So almost, almost at um, the top there. Okay, and still set up. Now what I want to do as well is change our design, the skin. So you can kind of see what people are doing with this. This is just going to be a short video of me showcasing this. So, remove top, I don't know what that is. There's a UK police rover. This is the one that was featured in Top Gear. <laughs> that kind of uh, beige sort of colour. I mean, I love that police. Um, that one there. Yeah, this is like, I think it was used in the Midlands. A lot of the Midlands police forces used it because it was good on the motorway um, in the 80s. And also around London, of course. Okay. Taking on the motorway. And I tried this earlier. I um, reset all the def uh, back to default and it just goes absolutely crazy. I haven't even tweaked it here, but watch this. Ready? Whoa! Like it's morning now. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was bad. We got 210. The gearing on this car is ridiculous and I haven't even tweaked it. Like, oh. Wow, the back end was like, a couple of meters up in the on the in the air there, and that was ridiculous. Right, two thirty. Look at the camera shaking. Now I reckon if you tweak this, this could be as fast as like a Bugatti Chiron. You can easily get up to two hundred and seventy miles per hour, I think. Wow, it's just so amazing. For an S1 as well, this is like. This is almost like an X class, it's just so quick. Now, of course, when I take it. Ah, the brakes are alright. Let me take it off the road, we're just gonna do that here. It might not be too great with the old handling, but. Oh, wow, yeah. Off road, not good. These drag tyres don't have the uh, grip on the dirt. Here we go, ready? Oh, there's a the train. There's the steam from it. Yeah. Actually, it's all right. It's actually all right. Whoa. I got a house up here. Let's stop there. So yeah, that is the Rover SD1. I really love it. I really love this game at the moment. 
Um, I recommend getting back into it if you haven't played for a while because they are still updating it with a lot of new things. So, let's just pull in here. Oh, where's the gate? There it is. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been making some more videos in the coming days and weeks because of the uh, self-isolation or whatever it is. I don't know what how to really describe it. Um, the, you know, social distancing, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all keeping safe in these weird, weird times. And I'll see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures.